I don't work for IBM. Doesn't mean you get the job. Wow. You mean we're not in love? <laughs> you know I screwed him, right? Let's be adult about this. Off talking down to me, don't you? Look, there are a thousand other engineers we can get, preferably one you haven't bedded down with. Who are you again? Me? Hey? A little scotch air and uh, a guest. Lulu. John. Hey, you look wonderful. Uh -huh. Let me introduce you here to Joe McMillan. Joe McMillan, Lulu. Joseph. Travis. Joe McMillan here. Oh, Joseph, where do you hail from? Hudson River Valley. Oh, I adore that area. You get to the city? Yes, often. Travis and I go annually. He uh, ignores the opera. I sponsor it. Mm. <laughs> Last season, we saw Figaro. Uh, how'd that turn out? Same way it always does, John. It's 200 years old. <laughs> <laughs> but I do hate when they try to force that poor boy to marry his own mother. Of course. He owes her money. <laughs> John, I believe you brought a shark to my table. No, dear, just a deal. Yes, yes, Nathan mentioned it. A little research of my own. I will take 80% of your PC project for 10 million. Well, that's a little aggressive. John, IBM has poisoned you well. I know I am not the first name on Nathan Cardiff's Rolodex, which means your cash flow is a little stopped up. Kind of like my second husband's aorta. You know, our projected earnings are many multiples of that. If there's a better deal for you elsewhere, you are welcome to take it. Y'all excuse us? Joseph, is everything all right? Oh, glorious. Dinner served. John, you're so bad. So, Joseph, what do we think? About Omaha? About the space program, Miss Sally Ride. It's a gimmick. You're not proud of NASA for breaking the gender barrier? The Soviets did it. Twice. So, it's first or not at all? Curious outlook for someone who's cloning an IBM. Yeah, now, now, go easy on him, Lulu. He's a Yankee. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Getting into bed with you boys, least I can do is check the sheets and fluff the pillows. Yeah. Isn't that right, Travis? We're not going to be partners. I think you make everything about yourself. That's why you rent your friends and repel everyone else. Boss, we have a deal now. I'll have Barry draw up the papers. You see, Joseph, it's not hard. It's just knowing your side of the saddle. More wine? Oh, Travis, bring us some brandy. We're celebrating. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
the address calculation code. It's too long. It takes up too many bytes. What I need is some way of grabbing the addresses without telling the CPU where to look for them. Like, like an address book that's also like a map. Cameron, why are you here? I'm stuck. If I've given you the impression that because of this thing we've got going on that you're entitled to special treatment, I'm sorry. Cameron, what are you doing? Uh, I'm just taking this little thing we've got going off the table. Maybe that'll wake you up. Uh, I left some stuff at your apartment, so I can tell Steve I'll report for duty tomorrow. I bought this bat for him. Spent hours teaching him how to swing correctly. He wasn't exactly a natural. Didn't know Joe had a girlfriend. I'm not his girlfriend. Well, Joe's not exactly the girlfriend type. I don't think you understand who you've gotten into bed with. It's only a matter of time until he blows everything up. He always does. <laughs> How did you get these? Really? I was in high school. Mm. I've been saving up money for a long time. Summer jobs and everything. And I bought a 64 Chevy Nova. Bright yellow. Love at first sight. The day I got it, I took some friends out. And it was mid-February and cold. I mean, bitter cold. <sighs> Ice on the roads. No one should have been out that night. Hold on. Is this true? What do you mean? You're lying to me. Okay. Oh, my God. The truth is... God, this is embarrassing. When I was a kid, I had a buddy who lived out on this farm road and there was this mill rested to hell one day i dared him i said mike oh my god stop is this another lie why do you care cameron i mean honestly stop handling me it's just a question but why do you care about the answer you are too screwed up for words because i don't want to tell sad stories in bed with you when did this become that who's this our routine you come over whenever I don't know, you need to, and I'm happy to oblige. Now all of a sudden you're getting pissed because I don't want to play house. Don't do that. It's just a question. You design the routine. Oh, well, it's no longer doing anything for me. This has gotten boring. You're free to leave whenever you like. You have gotten boring. Like I said. Do you want a piece of advice, Joe? Not really. Your whole thing, it attracts people, but it won't keep them around. Authenticity is what inspires people. If you want to lead people, you have to show them who you really are. Otherwise, 
You're just a thousand dollar suit with nothing inside. No one gives a shit. Rain check. Big storm's supposed to be coming in. Thanks. How? So that's it. When can we expect the peripheral drivers from your team? Is this how you're going to talk to me from now on? How would you like me to talk to you? Like your flesh and blood. I'm sorry if my tone is business like, but I am your boss, and this is, in fact, a business. Oh my God. It's so lifelike. <laughs> We have to get a share of the market first. We have to show that we can compete with the majors before we start changing things up. Maybe for a second generation, we could do something like this. This is because of last night. I haven't given that a second thought. Any questions? Yeah, I got a question. Are you banging Joe McMillan? <laughs> <laughs> oh. What do you want? Do you have anybody? What are you talking about? If you got stuck in the hurricane, do you have anybody you would call? I don't.
Tell me what you've been working on. This is really good. Can I get you some dinner before I take off? I'll be nice. She's right, you gotta eat. Look who's talking. All work and no play makes Joe a dull boy. Hmm? It's warm ahead of functions. We're gonna be the ones left behind with everyone laughing at us. I mean, why don't you just call it, you know, call it the... Call it the Cardiff Giant. You assured me that everything was in line and that my time wouldn't be wasted. I don't have time to waste. What is this? I thought this was a done deal. You fly out all this way and now you're leaving? No, I let another designer go just to take this meeting. What's with the girl? Is that what this is about? I never should have come. It's gone. Are you happy? All because you didn't like the name? We was window shopping and decided you were the man to marry. Yeah, you're settling. See, I like to get asked to the prom first. If I don't, my feelings get hurt. Hey, speaking of marriage, uh, how's Ginny? Ginny's doing just fine. Yeah? You, uh, line anything up on the side yet? Uh, we're not settling. We're betting on utility. Your design is simple, it's welcoming, it doesn't intimidate, and we want our machine to be... friendly. Shit. I don't need to give you a dollar. You'll dance for free. <laughs> <laughs> Well, appreciate that, Kenny. Patience ours. Get that plastic mold fired up ASAP, huh? Well, we figure with the amount of money you're spending, I can bump you to the top of the list. I appreciate that. Hey, you all right there, partner? Long week. Yeah. Hurts, don't it? Well, at least we got to have a good time on Cardiff's dime, all right? Yeah, sure. Have a good one, Kenny. Hey, you know, we must have seen 20 pretty titties. Not so much as a smile from you. What are you, queer? Oh! That is assault, John. I will press charges. I'm gonna sue your ass, John. You hear me? All right, I'm good. I'm good. Get your hands You up. still make it work with your guy? I can try. The moment I met you, you know what I longed for? The day when we would get to work together, when we finally had something that would be worthy of you. And that thing is a portable IBM clone? Joe, I appreciate the blanket flattery, but it's a little too late, isn't it? I don't get it. Why call me? Why come back into my life at all? I remember when Jeremy said he was leaving New York to come spend a year here. Tour the Great Plains, he said. Oklahoma, Texas, Kansas. Photograph the landscape. What landscape? I mean, we all thought he'd gone mad. But here I am, trying to see what he was talking about, looking at his pictures, and trying to figure out why you moved here. I'll tell you why. Equal opportunity, a level playing field. Joe, please. I already got the hard sell from your Vundekin over there. 
Truly the future generation, Joe. She actually reminds me of you at that age. She's light years ahead of where I was then. She is tomorrow. And we're all better off because of it. In the end, it doesn't matter what design we choose because it's what's inside the machine that's brilliant. She did that. <laughs> Not you. Just Not me. Stop. You'll do the case. Well, don't do the I case. Don't I don't care. Sorry. That guy just messes me up. Commodore, Andy, Cardiff Electric. <laughs> that is huge. That is so big, I'm telling you. I've been there. <sighs> you all right? You're not upset about Comdex? What? Why would I want to go to Comdex? It's just for salesmen, right? I mean, they can just turn it on to see what I did. True. <sighs> you know, I miss you while I'm there. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> you tell Gordon yet? I keep putting it off. You think I'll be upset? Gordon Clark? Um, everybody out. It's all a misunderstanding. It's not a misunderstanding. We'll, we'll be laughing about this in 24 hours. Gordon, you're wrong. <sighs> What's going on? And why the hell are you attacking me, Gordon? She stole the money. I put my life into that box. Like I didn't. You gave it a name and a handle. You didn't build a damn thing. He's right. You only destroy things. You've never created anything. I created both of you. <laughs> Cleared out. He's gone. He's not gone. This is just how he lives. On purpose? God, I know nothing about this guy. Other than he likes glass. Cameron, the, 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 the brilliant programmer, months away from a college degree and a promising career in software, she dropped out, ended up hacking into the computers of a national bank. J John Bosworth. Texas good old boy, president of the I Hate Joe McMillan fan club. John Bosworth hatched a plan to embezzle thousands and thousands of dollars just to keep this project alive. You, you made us all crazy. So don't act like you suddenly found sanity. We have the giant. It is ready to go. Good morning. Checking in. Cardiff Electric. We have a three-bedroom suite on the ninth floor. Excellent. If you just fill out your registration card. I'm sorry. Did you say Cardiff? That's right. Excuse me for one moment. Not at heart. Lots of the guys who created Ethernet. This is pure research and experimentation. Donna Clark! Oh, Swally Turner, my God, how long has it been? You were pregnant with, uh, with Joni. <laughs> hey, I got this new program. Hey, you guys want pancakes? Pancakes? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's yeah. go. Let's do it, yeah. <laughs> I think you should probably put on If the table. giant does everything you say, it could be a contender for us. California. What they're doing out there, it's Maybe you should go to Palo Alto. Maybe we should.
need to demo by the end of business or we're dead. I need you there. Bullshit! Okay, how about... I want you there. I want you with me. I can't do this without you. Do what, Joe? Cameron. Come back to Cardiff. You can do whatever you want. You'll have carte blanche. No. Fine, don't work for Cardiff. Form your own company. I'll hire you as a vendor. You'll never have to see my face. I just, I need you. Oh, God, you're pathetic. We can start our own company here. I'll leave Cardiff. We can go to California, go anywhere. We can start from scratch. I want to be with you. That sounds nice. You built something together, a partnership. Make our own future. Yeah. Yeah. Except you're not the future. You're a footnote. For a while, you had me fooled. I mean, I thought I heard a heartbeat. But it wasn't a heartbeat. It was an echo. I loved you because you recited my own ideas back to me and pretended they were your own. <laughs> you want to know the truth? You're still exactly what you were the day your mom let you fall off that roof. Yeah. Just a sad little boy. A lot of wasted potential. The physical world is dead. A pathway is being built. Way out. Into a world of pure information, a shared consciousness. The future is bearing down on us like a freight train, and nobody sees it. doing here? I, um, I went by the house. They told me. Hmm. 
We don't know who did it. You probably never will. Sixth grade, first day of school. Someone wrote fag on my locker. I got some paper towels from the bathroom, wet them down, and scrubbed it off before anyone could see. Next day, they wrote it 20 times in a permanent marker. I never went back to my locker. I carried seven textbooks in my backpack for the rest of the year. I was only 11 years old. I was already running from something. I guess it made my legs stronger. My back stronger. It's dangerous to try and really connect with someone. It's so special when you find a person you can be yourself with. You were that. It's your company. You should decide what happens to it. Maybe you'll make it. Maybe you won't. But you live or die by who you really are. Then where do you fit into all this? I don't. I'm removing myself from the equation. I assume you're here to humiliate me in front of hundreds of people? Tempting. But no, I guess that's no longer necessary. Yeah. I'm done. I guess when my life was up in a mushroom cloud, I just naturally assume you're behind it somehow. Old habits. You leaving town? That's right. With your fiance? Wife. Actually. Going to California was my idea. You remember? That Condex almost convinced me. Someone close to me said that there must be a reason why you're still a part of my life. Do you ever wonder? I mean, what if instead of chasing what each of us wanted separately and obsessively, we just held on to each other instead? I know you didn't copy our interface. I know it wasn't your fault. I didn't want you to leave without hearing that. And I must be totally mental because part of me doesn't want you to go away at all. You have no idea. You're right, I can't do this. No. You're a jelly melon. You can 
do whatever you want. what it could have been. What, no kiss this time? What do you want? You want to tell me I'm a horrible person? Go ahead. I'd be well within my rights to want that. What I'd really like to say is, uh, is thank you. Really? For what? Everything, I guess. How could I have risen from the ashes if you hadn't burned it all to the ground? Is that why you stole my best coder? Who? Ryan? Come on. Look, Valley is crawling with Ryan's. No. Actually, he's incredibly talented. Do you want him back? What are you doing here? Are you following me here? Oh, no, Cam. I don't have time to follow you. I'm, uh... I'm a student. <laughs> Why is that funny? <laughs> because it's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe I got tired of being told I was just a salesman who couldn't code. <laughs> okay, I, uh... God, I don't know what kind of dress-up game you're playing, but yes, you're a student. I might not ever be great at it, but I'm not unteachable. Joe, I know you got this whole humble Zen master thing working for you, but come on. Save it. I'm not buying it. No, you don't have to buy it, Cam. Haven't you heard? I'm giving it away for free. Seem like a decent man, not some Frisco nut job. <laughs> I'll submit a detailed report to the big boss, i.e., my wife, <laughs> and uh, that should clear things up. Might not mention Sandy to her, though. <laughs> Nothing like a girl in a wetsuit, am I right? You sure are, although I prefer a bikini. Yeah. <laughs> some of our business associates in SF, they're a little funny, if you catch my drift. Soft handshakes. Hell, maybe we'll get lucky. All the faggots will catch that special flu that's going around. As long as my son stays away from it, but uh, plenty of time to whip him into shape. Like I said, he's still a kid. All right, gentlemen, it's that time. All right. Yes, sir. Hey, watch it, man. You know, I wouldn't worry about your son. He'll find his path when he gets away from you. But I feel sorry for your wife. She has to lie there taking it, wondering what the hell she did have your stinking breath in her face. Or wait, 
Maybe I was wrong. Maybe the big boss isn't the one taking it. Hey, Jesus Christ, sir. We had the son of a bitch locked in. You had to... Had to what? That's all for today. Get some sleep, Ryan. You're starting to miss things. What are you doing here? I need to talk to you. It's not a good time. No. Thank you for today. It's, uh, it's the 4th of July. Right. I mean, you didn't say I had the day off, so. Ryan, it's the 4th of July. <laughs> so do you want me to leave? No. No. Come on in. if it's beautiful or horrifying. My mom came out here. She died here. But nothing lasts in this place. The whole city burned down seven times in the first couple of years of its existence. Even its name has been reinvented. Do you know what San Francisco used to be called? Yeah, Yerba Buena. Look, that's what makes a city so great. You can screw up, you can fail, and so what? You get another chance. It's disposable. It's exciting, because you never know what the hell's next. Denture cream. I'm not sure I've got another next in me. You should know that. Look, I've had a tough week. Will you join me for dinner? Okay. Okay. I'll come to dinner with you. Sounds nice. You need to give Gordon credit. He pissed at me. You have every right. Just, Jesus, don't take it out on Gordon. He needs this. Joe, do right by him. Give him credit for what he built. Say something. Shall we celebrate? Why? That's a wedding ring on your finger, isn't it?
came here to talk about Gordon. Did you? It's 1.30 in the morning. You were waiting in my hallway. To talk about Gordon. his name it doesn't matter it could have been anyone you were happy for a moment and you thought the person standing closest to you was the source trust me I've been there We need to give Gordon credit. Can I ask you a question? Were you, were you and Ryan um, ever, uh, you know, what? Did you, you know, you know? What? You know, were, were you, you know, more than friends? No? I never had those feelings for Ryan. Actually, kind of reminds me of you. Oh, oh come on, please don't, don't say that. That's, I don't know how to respond to that. Uh, <laughs> stop messing with me. Can you make it out to Joe? It's just a really amazing culture, you know. Do you even speak Japanese? That means I don't want the shrimp with the heads on. It's a very useful phrase in Tokyo. So you're going to stay? Maybe, yeah. It's, I don't know. We've really settled in. It was weird at first, like alien, you know? And that's what Space Bike 2 is all about. It was just, Tom was working a ton, and I was wandering around this strange city feeling lost, and then, I don't know, one day I just decided to give myself over to it. Just like that, like a, like a switch flicked in your brain. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, you go through life, and you have this idea of, of who you are and what you do, and then you discover it's total bullshit as a defense mechanism, and once you stop defending yourself, you can be all these other things, and that yeah. sounds totally cheesy. No, it's not. I still suck at using chopsticks. So, what are you doing here? Are you still consulting? I'm thinking about getting back into that, if the gig is right. Amazing how much changes in just a few years. How much stays the same. So what do you think? What should I see? Oh, uh... Well, you can skip all the laptops. They're just variations on a theme. Uh, it's the Microsoft booth. is gate to speech is overrated. Just get the transcript. Oh, Philips just released a recordable CD, and Adobe added some cool stuff to this thing called Photoshop. So. Yeah, great. 
It's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> but God, it was it was great to see you, and uh, this was a lot of fun. Wait, were those those guys from '83 that had that really terrible printer? You convinced me you were from IBM. Oh, yeah. We bought out their suite with a giant. That suite came with a free seafood tower. Hey, what are you doing? Offering, uh... I wonder how high you'd have to be up for your spit to actually kill someone. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, let's see what we got. Hmm. What do you think? Oh, I wouldn't. They make your ass look big. Hey, so I have this Atari party that I have to go to that would be so much more fun if you would come and get drunk with me. Well, so I can fend off your groupies? Exactly. I'm not really dressed for that kind of thing. Okay. Well. Okay. No, I'm ready. <laughs> Oh, future's so bright. She called me a few days ago. Why? She wanted me to find you and bring you some idea. That's why you're here? No. I told her if she wanted to talk to you, she could do it herself. I don't even know what the idea was. I didn't read it. I don't care. Come on, Cam. You can trust me. Why? Are you here? You know why. Nope. Tell me.
shouldn't be up here. It's getting late. Front, Ozzy. I would have minded. Yeah. Yeah. What? <laughs> we broke up three weeks ago. Oh man. Hey, Gordon. Happy fortieth. Cheers. Cameron's here. I heard you didn't come to parties anymore. Oh, it's Gordon's birthday. Scott, oh, what is this? Lodestar. Is that the finished browser? Have you just been sitting on this? Couldn't get around to handing it in? No, I finished it last night. So it was what? A day of work? Joe, I've been working on this for weeks. You know, you didn't have to sit around and wait for me. If you were in such a rush, you could have hired somebody else to do the coding. You don't get it. I needed you. We needed you to care, and you didn't. We had almost a year on the Mosaic, guys, but we blew it. And now, if you had just been here, actually been available. Well, I couldn't be here. That was the deal. And it was a raw deal for me. And it's just a shame. It's a shame that 5,000 miles away wasn't far enough. <laughs> what is this about? Look, I made this better than it had any right to be, and I did so while dealing with a lot of my own stuff. All right, your game. I'm sure that was tough, being funded, promoted, coddled. I've been alone on this, working by myself for three years. Do you want to talk about what we're really talking about? If we had worked on this together, it could have been amazing. What do you want me to do? Nothing. It's too late. I'm sorry about the other day. I was just having trouble believing that the browser was done. And I know that that is over now. I do. Regardless, I don't want five months or five years to go by before I hear from you. So don't disappear again. I want to know you in my life. You already know me, Joe. <laughs> I'm not going back to Japan. Tom left me.
you miss the moon? Oh well. You know, hit search for um Is that Rover? You give it a C minus. That bad? You really haven't seen it? No, I really haven't. Oh, yeah. I see what you mean. Even with the basic rules engine, the results are garbage. It's the crawler's too static. Mm. Still, the way they grab the titles is actually kind of clever. Okay, thanks. Hey, we'll I'm just... just gonna check the HTML. It takes one second. Oh, yeah. The algorithm's too stupid to know that there are equivalent synonyms for a search phrase. Or different spellings, like color, C-O-L-O-R, the English spelling with the U. Still, I'd give it a B minus. Mm. No, a solid B for concept, but demerits for poor execution. Mm. You asked. Actually, no, we, didn't. we didn't. Neither one of us asked. This wouldn't be hard to beat, you know. You're mad. I'm not. I think you wanted to work on this, but if you do, then... I don't. Okay. I'm just, I'm just saying that math can't tell a qualitative difference between good and bad. A computer can't tell me what I want. Not yet. Um, well, my husband Lenny and I, we bought this little sweetheart for our honeymoon, and uh, she's a real jewel. Mm-hmm. So how often do you get up there? We've only been once. But we're hoping to make it more often. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Well, go on. Go on inside. It's nice and cozy, and the bed's pretty comfortable, too. Oh, my God. <sighs> this is perfect. It's, uh, it's cozy. Yeah. So, AOL, huh? Yeah. You really ready to be a company man again? If money, if money's good enough, I might take the buy out, do something else. You might. Yeah. <laughs> try it out. <laughs> so let's try it out. <laughs> oh. Promise me that whatever the offer is, you'll consider it. I kind of think you should take it. Because our business model won't scale. <laughs> no, because then you can spend all that free time with me. Besides, I know you're all about the human touch. Does this long, long trailer mean you're moving out? <laughs> No, this is for us. We'll have all this room to just do whatever we want. Mm. Okay, we we'll won't stop. <laughs> all right, Lydia. Hey, man. Work for her and Lenny for all these years. You trying to make an honest Lenny out of me? I am trying to buy this here jewel and sweep you away to a magical land. I'm gonna make an offer. my first night in Lily and Lenny's honeymoon hot bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> they seem to be doing all right. No. Okay. <laughs> hey, Scratch. You guys want another beer? Let's have one more. Yeah. No, somebody's got to drive. Come on, Gordon, I you gotta, don't have to drive. Uh, I wish. Come on. I'm beat. <sighs> Shall we, Buzz? I think we got a roll. Hey. Hey. You guys working? Uh, yeah. Hi, Vanessa. Um, this is my boss, Joe McMillan. Actually, co-founder. Cool. <laughs> I'm totally addicted to Ayuma, by the way. 
Their indie rock section's like incredible. I know, it's like, who needs sub pop? Did you find that Julep compilation? The one with the Bratmobile song? Yes. Let's talk about dogs. Yeah. Yeah. The Heavens to Betsy song is like hella cool too. Yeah. I better get back to work, but I'll see you later. Yeah, for sure. talking about again so on the internet you think you can be who you really are you okay yep don't talk nope found dogs we were just there yesterday yep she loves that place no idea why food sucks Maybe it's not about the food. When's she coming back? No idea. She no longer works here. What did you do, fire her? I gave her a choice and she walked. So get her back. Joe, she's flunking her classes and copying some major attitude. You don't understand, Haley needs this place. She's not like other kids. She's got different, um, Interests. Wow, good for her. She's a little like me. When I was a kid, I would have given anything for a place like this, some place I could feel like I belonged. Yeah, well, this is what parenting is. Setting limits, being consistent, and discipline. You sound like my dad. Don't even start to compare me to your father because the two of us are not even in the same universe. All I'm saying is, he never really saw me. He just wanted me to be like him. All I'm saying is that I see Haley just fine. Okay, I may not sit around sipping milkshakes with her, but I know exactly who my daughter is. You sure about that? 